It is Monday morning. Uh, we are on the GoPro. The GoPro did finally arrive. Tried to film the other day with it. I went on a short bike ride the other day. Well, the bike ride was like 20 miles, which is pretty short these days. GoPro turned off halfway there. I don't know why, but we're gonna try again today and see, just to see how long a battery lasts, you know. Cause right now with this mod especially, they don't really seem like they last that long. But test it out. Plus I had to get a new memory card. Can't find memory cards. Uh, you know, regular shit. Regular me fucking up everything shit. The garage has been cleaned. Shout out to Alex. Cycling shoes. There's a vicious cycle, no pun intended. Even though someone said I should name the bike club vicious cycles i feel like there's got to be one out there these are my shoes that we bought last week these are shimano rx8 are i've ridden them uh 100 miles probably in this shoe maybe a little more and they really aren't bad but the taper on the toe is so tight and my feet you know when you do exercise your feet kind of swell a bit or at least mine do you'll notice there's no cleats on these anymore uh yeah these were killing my feet like it was getting pretty bad Yesterday in the podcast, somebody suggested the S-Works Recon. Now, this is fucked up because y'all suggest something and then I want comfort first and foremost. Second, I want the best. And third, uh, I want comfort. I want to be able to perform. So I look into these S-Works shoes, which are substantially more expensive than the RX-8, but there was a wide version. This shoe is insane just on feet this shit feels so much different it's kind of incredible uh i haven't ridden them yet put the cleats on last night and we're gonna go ride today and see what's gucci uh, i was supposed to meet up with my boy rick from think tank he just got a bike but he's not feeling he's not feeling it yet he uh he went around his neighborhood and realized it's been a while it takes a while to get your legs up i mean it takes a minute like i first the first week i was doing like if i did 10 miles you know what i mean i was like man i did 10 whole fucking miles remember the first day i did 20 i thought i came home and i was dead just like oh fuck i'm so dead you know now 20 when i come home from 20 whoa kind of just feels like a normal ride like a light ride it's not too crazy just gotta keep at it but anyway we're gonna put on these new shoes and we're gonna go get out of here son hit the streets stopped here and the GoPro was off so I don't know how long it recorded for the battery when I took it out was hot as shit so I don't know how this thing is gonna hold up with this uh mic on it we might have to try it without the mic next ride ah we're 10 miles in now Okay, uh, I feel like I've been here before, but I feel like this is over like 15 miles out. Yeah, we're 17 and a half out, hour and 17 minutes. So we're just gonna turn around and go home. I'm not tired, I could go for longer, but gotta leave some gas in the tank, bro. You know what I'm saying? Gas in the motherfucking tank. Okay, so, God damn it. Yesterday's bike ride went a little awry. I ended up going the wrong way. And then, because I went the wrong way, it added an extra at least 10 miles onto the trip. It got really hot yesterday afternoon, and then I, uh, I ended up puking. I had to pull off on the trail, get sick. I just threw up a bunch of water, because um, I had just chugged a bunch of water. Got sick, felt like I was gonna die. Didn't die, and um, got back on my bike and went the rest of the way home. Today is a rest day. We got this motherfucker chilling up here. Um, we're still on the GoPro. The GoPro with the media mod definitely does not last for a whole bike ride. So that test is over and done with. 
I got a haircut, as you can tell. Come on, Omar, come on. Come on, good boy. A few things. So since I started riding my bike a lot, uh, yesterday 40 miles, every day, single day, aside from Alex bitching at me, someone DMs me, messages me, comments to me that I should get a helmet. I don't want a helmet, don't want to buy a helmet, I, I, I don't want to wear one, I hate them. Long story short, the motherfuckers won and I went and got a helmet because literally no one will leave me the fuck alone. So here, here it is, here's a helmet. I'm not promising you that I'm gonna wear it every time, but I had it, so leave me alone. These are my new S-Works Recon 2, maybe? I don't know, Recon, just Recon. The helmet is an S-Works something too, which also has this stuff, Angie. It'll alert contacts and share my location and integrated sensor accidents. So if I get an accident, call the fuzz for me, for the ambulance, or somebody. But anyway, these, S works. Uh, these are a wide version of the shoe versus my first cycling shoe, Shimano RX-8s. Both are really great shoes. These are really stiff and thin. My feet cramp up pretty bad after a long ride, but my feet also cramped up a little bit when I was riding these. The only real difference is I have a little room to wiggle my toes around if I need to while I'm riding. That's nice. The boa goes two different directions on this one. Only one direction on this, so you have to undo the whole thing. Materials are so different. This is leather, basically, I think, or fake leather, I don't know, with like babe camo. I don't remember the name. This is not gonna be an in-depth review. I don't remember the name of the material that they've used here, this sort of mesh, breathable mesh, but it's really nice. The shoe, this shoe here is just so much nicer. It's worth the extra money, I would say, because this shit is expensive. I mean, it's like kind of like snowboarding. You know, your feet aren't gonna be super comfortable, I guess, but you're looking for the best thing you can find. And walking in these is easier. Overall, the profile of this one is nicer. There's more stability. Look at that heel cut. Look at the heel cut comparisons here. You know, it's just a nicer shoe. But these are still great. This is still a great shoe. This is maybe a little stiffer, I, th I could say, maybe, possibly. I don't really know. I don't know if that's a fair statement. I don't know if it's that they feel stiff because they hurt or what, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely hype on these. So these, I'm gonna let Earn try them out if he wants. You can have them. Um, if not, sell them off. Used any avid cyclers out there and get into it. Buying a bicycle. Because I know a lot of you are, which is awesome. We have our bike club. It's great. We're all getting into it. Um, something to do. That's works. These are staying. These are my babies now. Uh, other shoes have come in as well. I have not had time to really fuck with any of it because I've just been so distracted with the world and the craziness. I'm trying to make sense of up and down, but uh, Seth Fowler dropped a shoe and Seth sent us the shoe. Here it is. I haven't even taken a real look at these yet. They've been here for a fucking week probably. I'm sorry, Seth. I am the worst. Message from the design. Underdog Seth Fowler, special collaboration. Yeah, so basically it's telling the story in case you don't know. They kind of showed the whole process of this through Seth's YouTube channel. Uh, but like, shout out to Seth, bro. Here, here's the thing, here's the thing people don't know. Seth stayed the course, you know? And he, he set his intention on what he wanted to do and he just did it. I remember when Seth, and this isn't to put Seth out there, but I remember when Seth wasn't getting the respect at SneakerCon. You know, I remember when he was not getting the respect and we would have conversations crazy and awesome to see how far he's gone with what he's doing you know I think all of us toy around with the idea of making a shoe I think all of us have the same fear too of like what kind of shoe can we really bring y'all motherfuckers are gonna hate on everything if it's not Adidas or Nike or New Balance or Asics or Vans or Reebok or Puma, pretty much you're gonna hate on it. It's like, or the masses, well, not everybody. I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to clump everybody together, but you know the type. You know, it's hard, it's a hard leap to make, and Seth made it, so for nothing else, shout out Seth for that. It's not, it's not easy, dog. And Seth, when he texted me, he said, I know you're not gonna wear these, but I wanna send them to you anyway. So that's, we're on the same page. He knows that I, what type of shoes I wear. These aren't uh, a type of shoe that I would normally, normally rock, but I'm, I'm hyped that my boy included me, you know? I'm hyped to feel included, as usual. Got, you know, inspired by things Seth likes, which are Jordan. It's got some nice leather on it. I mean, that's what y'all like. Y'all like nice leather. Oh, uh, the ones that released are numbered. The other one, these aren't numbered. These are unnumbered. That's what's up. I like that. I like the signature. So, shout out to Seth for sending out the sneaker. I do appreciate it. My friend, my man, congratulations to you guys on, on your release. Other than that, I've been wearing dog, you know I'm out here. Gel 90s. Shout out to Rack again, turning your brother on. But speaking of Rack, look at this old school vibe we got going on with all these shoes. 
Um, these still have not been returned, but I need, I need to return them. I got 60 days for these. Still need to go back, um, especially since a lot of those went on sale. <laughs> Lapstone and Himar. Um, oh, girls, talk about it. These are fucking nice, son. That yellow and blue is just. These are fucking fire. Uh, people who ask, so I've really been wearing nothing but these in my cycling shoes. These are great. I mean, no, again, 100% not boost, but we gotta stop having to have that conversation. But these are, I mean, I don't dislike them. I walked around in them, not crazy, but they're, they're comfortable enough. They're just as comfortable, if not more comfortable, than the Wave Runner. If you're down with Wave Runners and you're down with fucking Desert Rats and all, any of these other non-boost shoes, they're great. If you wear Jordans or Vans or any of that flat-footed stuff, you know, like, these are great, you know, so I fuck with the model. I look forward to more colors. There's a bunch of collab colors out there. Well, not a bunch, but a couple of collab colors out there, but I'm kind of just waiting on like a black pair, and that'll be good until I beat one up. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to get myself in any more situations. Situation. So, um, yeah. But the rest of the day is a rest day. I gotta rest my legs. We're uh, me and Ern are gonna attempt a hundred mile bike ride here in the next day or two. And uh, I ended up accidentally buying a new seat for my bike, which we'll talk about later. I don't know how you accidentally buy stuff, but somehow I did. And uh, yeah, going to see Alex's parents. That's that's what we're doing. And this is all shot on the GoPro. Today's episode, all GoPro. Normally we film on a Sony A7 III. This has all been the GoPro with the mod attachment with the mic. So we'll see how that turns out. But I'll see you guys in a couple days. All right. Peace. So now this, this is the GoPro and me in a helmet with no mic. There's no mic attached. So we're about to go meet Ern for a, a quick little bike ride. Like, well, not quick, but not a hundred miles either. But we're going to test the GoPro today out any attachments and see what happens. What up? Have you tried it yet? Teddy's brought the. Oh, there's no audio. No, there is now. Oh. There, there's just no mic attached. It's just that shit GoPro audio. Teddy's brought the Isotonic Energy Sports sis, Supplement. Get it, sis. <laughs> it matches your shit. You got the lemon lime one? That yeah. means the orange one's in my pocket. Oh, and it's clear. Mm, it's not bad. Not bad? Mm. Does it just taste like Gatorade or something? But the texture is... Is it like Japanese jellies texture? Mm. You know how you love that. Mm -mm. They're actually harder. Mm. This is like... Softer? It's good. Mm, good. We'll see how the energy works. <laughs> We just, uh, this morning, we did a 40 mile bike ride, 46 miles, I think, for me, I don't know. Um, so, that was tiring. Uh, it was a good ride. Was, we went super early this morning, so it was nice and cool. We're gearing up for that 100 mile ride. Any time now just double in case you can't do math uh today was the first ride where i actually so normally the first week 
I did bike riding fasted because it didn't take much energy. Like I could do it fasted, it was fine. Second week I started eating some cereal before I was going. That, or you know, third, I don't know how many weeks we're at, but whatever, eventually I started eating cereal. Then, now, today is the first time that I actually refed during the exercise, like a little Gatorade, a half a Cliff Bar, like split up between the whole ride, just nibbles, you know, nibbles and sips. Nibbles and sips, that's the name of my strip club, but also what I was doing on today's bike ride. So nibbles and sips implemented today, which made everything so like, oh my God, dude, so much easier to just keep pushing through. So that was good. That was helpful. Um, and I didn't get sick. I did more miles for longer, didn't get sick. I don't know what happened, but I think it just got too hot. But we're packing, been a flood of some sort at the storage unit. Alex is finishing up the garage. The good news is she found more shirts. Finishing up the garage. I gotta start going through all my old stuff. Like we really, it's time. Like we have to move in like two weeks, three weeks or so. So it's uh, a lot of that. We're gonna try and keep vlogging. We don't, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, obviously the world is still insane and crazy. My support is with everyone as much as it possibly can. I won't lie. I've had to kind of check out some ways. I just can't. There's too much stress like just going on in general, but uh, paying attention to what I can and supporting where I can. So obviously black lives definitely matter over here. You know, we're we're with you. Y'all take it easy. I'm out of here. I'll see you soon. Podcast soon. There's a lot of shit to talk about with the political side of this world. All right. We're out. Peace.